Yeah, I've been driving the highway a ton this year. I've been doing a lot of back and forth between here and Vancouver, and it's a pretty beautiful, beautiful, beautiful drive up and down for sure. Anyone who's driven the highway to go up to Whistler before has seen the Tantalus Range. It's an amazing mountain range, jagged peaks, broken glaciers and ice, and it's a it's a pretty pretty cool and scenic view. You know what? Since the very first day I drove up when I was when I was eight years old when I moved here, I was already intrigued by that mountain. So I keep saying to myself, yeah, one day we'll make it happen, you know, and uh, I never really have, and it's been 20 years, and I still haven't gone up and done it. So. And why haven't you? Why haven't you skied up there yet? You know, I actually almost did last year, and I just, there's so many little distractions and different little things that kind of sidetrack you from maybe getting an objective done or going to a place you've always wanted to go. And I think uh, this year it's, it's just been tough. Three, two, one, dropping. What the fuck? That was sweet. Three, two, one, dropping. Winter's been really tough on me. It's, I've been having a hard time getting motivated to get out of bed and go skiing and really to go do anything. Every week, no matter what I've got going on, I try to make it down to the city at least once to see my sister and spend a bit of time with her. Yeah, she's told me a, like a few times now, like, you know, go, go live life. You don't have to be here every day. She said, I'll be okay. I can, I can be by myself. It's not a, it's not a, a big deal, but um, it's just nice to go see her and spend time with her. I've been doing pretty good with it. Nice. Getting better, like getting stronger and stuff, which yeah. is good. We can move it a little bit though. Mm, yeah. We can try. It's alright. Yeah. I think you're in pretty good, like mental state and trying to. It's hard. not always easy. Yeah. But yeah, trying my best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You're killing it. <laughs> it's no season for you guys, which is good. Yeah, it's been really good. I was at school in Kelowna, and um, and then I got a phone call. And it was my neighbor calling me, telling me that one of my sister's friends had been in an accident. So I called my other sister to see if she knew where Olivia was. And she's like, oh yeah, she was in Vancouver for Halloween, and they came back up. They were supposed to come back up today, and I'm like, oh, was she with MP? And and she said, yeah, she was with MP. And right right then, I kind of knew. When I called her the second time, she told me, it was like, yes, MP was in an accident with your sister. And I fell on my knees.
my good friend MP and I, we were down in the city for Halloween. And then the 9th of November 1st, we were driving back up to Whistler. It was raining pretty heavily, so my car ended up hydroplaning, like hitting the curb and flipping over onto oncoming traffic. My sister was driving and she ended up breaking her neck uh, fairly severely at C5 and C6. So I kind of lost that function of anything pretty much below my shoulders and then not the full function of like my, my hands and stuff. A really good friend and roommate was in the passenger and um, she, she unfortunately didn't make it. First few months were definitely the worst, worst time of my life. It really it was really tough to deal with and see my sister in, in that condition and, and mentally just the family. Everyone was doing pretty poorly. And, but we turned the corner and you know you got to stay positive in situations like this. Being happy is a huge part of of what my parents try to teach us and. They've always supported me in, in my dreams and really all three of us and all everything we wanted to do. And for me, it was skiing. I, I didn't see any other like possibilities. I wanted to be a skier and that, that's what I've been working towards. Skiing to me is, I mean, skiing to me is, is it's my life really. Without skiing, I'd, I think I'd have a, a really hard time coping coping with, with my sister's accident and everything that's happened. I, I think it's a little, it's an escape for me, for my mind and my body as well. You know, it's, it's really where I feel, I feel at home. Pillow stand. Yahoo! Come on, dog. Stan will be the guy that bugs you at 6 a.m. on a 10 centimeter powder day to get out of bed and to go ski with him. And this year has been a lot different, but I honestly think he's starting to come around and it's getting better. Just right there. Did you go? Oh, yeah, did you take my parking pass? Yeah, Perfect. He's always been pretty positive and uplifting and just stoked about life. He's compromised quite a, quite a lot. He just hasn't really like skied like he like, like he skied previous winters. Try to lift my spirits up a little bit. Talking about what he was doing as well, like all the snow in Whistler. Yeah, Stan's always talked about going to the Tantalus. It was like something that was on the bucket list probably for a while and... You know, why do you think he hadn't gone for all these years he's been talking about? 
I don't know, maybe things do get in the way and maybe we just put things off. Is that one of three to step? Yeah. Pretty surreal being up here. It's been a dream for a long time driving the highway back and forth, staring up here and get up here, uh, pretty cool. It's definitely changed for me. I, I think there's a lot of things I wanted to do and I would always put off. Like I've driven by the Tantalus, I want to say hundreds of times and I've always wanted to go up there, but I never really made the effort to plan a trip and come up here and to be able to come up here, it was like a dream come true. She'd be, she'd be super stoked for me, for sure. She's always been like super outdoorsy person as well. And uh, she'd want me living life to the fullest, you know, and that's really what I've taken from, from her accident too. You good to go? Yeah. yeah, 100%. It's always something that he's wanted to do, so go for it. I wasn't skiing much because I was spending a lot of time with my sister and it definitely wears down after a while, you know, being in the hospital. I didn't really ski much December. Skied a little bit in January, but not, not a whole lot. And then to get back into it is, uh, it really, it feels amazing. pretty cool that he got to follow his dream in that way. But also the person that he is, like the kindness and support that he that he gives, you know what I mean? It's not gonna be easy, but it'll definitely get easier and you can't take any days for granted. You gotta you gotta stay positive in situations like this and and hope for the best and and uh, keep moving forward. I think that's the most important part. What are you doing for dinner? I'm uh, going sushi. Sweet. 